Good morning and welcome to the video. So you join me on a Saturday morning, it's about 25 to 9, and I'm on a 4k warm up to my local park run, which is in Barnstable. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that this is where I broke my foot not too long ago. I worked out last night, it's been nine weeks, I think. So first park run back since then, looking forward to it. So I'm going a little bit too quick for my warm up. I was a little bit late leaving. I don't want to be late, so still pressing on a bit. And you can probably tell through my breathing as well. Now, I've been running back for probably about a month now and my fitness isn't where it was before, definitely not. So I'm not going in to this park run with any expectations. I don't expect a good time or a PB or anything like that. Just doing it for fun and to get some miles in. In terms of my shoe choice, I'm not risking the Sockenies, which I was wearing when I broke my foot, just in case they weren't quite stable enough for me. So instead, I'm wearing my stability shoes, which is a pair of on cloud stratus, which are quite nice. Really stable shoe. So considering what happened last time, I felt they were the, the best choice really. Weather wise, it's quite cloudy and the clouds are looking quite gray, but it's quite warm. So hopefully it won't rain, but we'll see. I don't actually mind running in the rain. I'd much rather run in the bad weather than the cycle, so. But fingers crossed it stays dry. All right, it's a little bit high for a warm up. So I'm gonna put the camera down, focus on slowing it down just a tad, and I'll see you when we're at Rock Park. Right, it's so on the way back home from Park Run, and I was actually really pleased with that effort. I think my time was around 21.43, but the course is slightly more than 5k. I think it's just under 5.2k. So just over pretty much 21 minutes for the 5k, which I was really pleased with, all things considered. So hopefully the footage turned out okay. What I'm thinking of doing next time, because I can't realistically talk while I'm running at that sort of pace, 
So I'm thinking about getting a chest strap for the GoPro, sticking it on there, recording the whole park run, and then doing a voiceover afterwards just to give you some insight into how I'm feeling and what's going through my head during the run itself. Now, at the moment, I'm not sure what position I came in. Not that it really matters, so I'll just do this for myself. But when I found out on the park run website, I'll put it up on screen for you to have a look at. I think I was in the top 20, I'd like to think. Um, there was a, quite a few people that went off in front of me at the very beginning. Um, so yeah, not sure, but I think I'm in the top 20. So nearly home now, I'm gonna relax for a bit, start processing this footage, and I've got a bike session to do a little bit later on. If you can look on the screen just there, you can see my previous video, which I think is gonna be uh, what's in my swim bag. So you can see everything that I take to the swimming pool with me as part of my triathlon training. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.